How you doing, my beautiful family? I'm here at Goodwill, trying something different. Uh, I know these gas prices have been ridiculous. These inflations at the supermarkets have been ridiculous. And these groceries as well. Um, I wanted to see if these people are hurting or if they've had to inflate their prices as well just to stay afloat through this uh, situation that we're going through. Remember, those that are new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe. And please hit that like button. And those that are already subscribed, please make sure that you turn on that notification bell so you can know when my future uh, future videos are coming in. Uh, and I do appreciate y'all's love and support. Um, let's check this out. Let's take this tour right now. This Goodwill right here is in Duluth, Georgia. How you doing, sir? Hello. Well, they have books, but I mean, I know a lot of people don't buy books like that anymore, but these are the prices to those books. I actually expected these uh, to be more. I thought maybe uh, these shelves would be a little bit more stocked, you know? Let me see. Nine nine cents for that little basket. Two dollars ninety nine cents for that basket. Um, dang, I didn't, I didn't think that they would take. For this TV, fifty dollars for this old school TV, people. Man, I wonder how they are staying afloat. You know, that's what I want to know. I mean, cause it doesn't look busy in here, and it looks like they don't have a lot of stuff going on or anything of value to even come get here. I know some Goodwills have amazing things. I do know that. But man. This family over here arguing about furniture, I'm assuming so. Yeah, this 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 good will not have anything. I need a white. This good will not have anything. Gray, New Balance. This, this boy, look at the sofa right here. White, gray. Eighty nine ninety nine, people. New so they have some decent furniture. Eighty nine ninety nine. Those who are trying to get a new home, move into a new apartment. But I expect this good will to be more packed. So they do have shortages. And some shelves are not fully stocked. I guess uh, the Goodwills goes by demographic as well, areas, you know, so we would have to see, uh, we would have to see about going to another area and see 
how their Goodwill looks. So I will do another future video of Goodwill, but maybe in a nicer area. I wonder how much they want for this. Yes, prices right here, people. $149. And this other sofa. $75. So their furniture is not that bad, you know? Um, I expect them them to be more more full of things, you know? So uh, I will be doing another Goodwill video in the future. Um, this is their jewelry section. Well, there you go, guys. I just gave you a quick walk through the Goodwill, and it was short because they didn't have much for me to talk about. You know, they had some things, but I, I expected it to be fully stocked, like I have seen other Goodwills before. But uh, stay tuned. I will post another Goodwill video in the future. I do appreciate the love and support. Um, remember, those who are new here, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Those that have been subscribed already, please make sure you turn on that notification bell. Um, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. you have a great one. What's going on, my beautiful people? Actually, I said I was going to make a video another day of the Goodwill. I'm going to make it today for you guys. So uh, uh, I just came from Duluth, Georgia, to Snellville, Georgia. Um, and just came to show you guys the difference here in this goodwill and see what it looks like inside not only that the cars are lined up here to do donation drop-offs versus the one in Duluth they didn't have all that it wasn't as busy um, so stay tuned I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like inside this is the goodwill in Snellville Georgia changing locations so you guys can see
splash for 89 cents. See, I mean, their pots and pans look like they've been used, but they have been cleaned. So, you know, over there, it looks like they never cleaned them at all and just took it in like that. They do have a Christmas shelf section. Yep, they sure do. Look at this showy motorcycle helmet for $16.09. Man, I mean, you could, golf clubs, I mean, you could find a whole bunch of different things here in the sorts I mean, of stuff, you know? All right, well, here goes the book section. I showed y'all the prices on the other one, which I'm about to find. And here goes the DVDs and here goes your book price list. Now we are about 30 minutes away from the Duluth one so I don't know how much more of the price increase it is but you guys can see from me recording uh, at the beginning of the video the prices for their books and uh, I mean as you can see look how much more organized it looks you know that's what I was saying demographic area earlier um, it's messed up. It's a sad thing, but you would you would assume that all policies get all the way across the board. And as you can see, this is the stock warehouse. How you doing? But yeah, so the Duluth one looks way different than the one in Snellville. From the back. See, they have more selection to your shoes as well. Yeah, they just told me that I couldn't record inside of here, but they didn't have a sign on the outside saying that. So, but it is what it is. I'm done already with this recording. So, he says there should have been a sign, but. There is no sign saying that at all. There is no sign saying I cannot record in here. Nope, not at all. Well, there you go, guys. This is the Goodwill right here in Snellville, Georgia. Um, very different from the one in Duluth. Um, it's more organized here. They have more stuff to select from. Uh, you know, their shelves is not as scarce here as the one in Duluth was. But just thought I'd give you the tour. Please remember, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe. You hit that thumbs, that like button. And please make sure if you are already subscribed to hit the notification bell, it'd be greatly appreciated. And guys, you have been doing awesome on viewing, liking, commenting. I do appreciate it, man. I do want to see more comments. I do want to see you guys interact more. I will respond, all right? Uh, I do appreciate it. Thank you uh, for the love and support. Y'all have a great day.